Hey love bucks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended family, well everybody, I hope you enjoyed your Memorial Day weekend. I know I did. It was hotter than Satan's toenails and I had a constant headache, but I'm still blessed to be here. So, with that being said, much love to all, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, um, if you feel like the videos is giving you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some really trying times right now and um, are trying to find confirmation or validation towards the life path or even a soul purpose, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up. Like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you once again for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to, you know, resonate with the video. And today, my relaxing meditation is uh, called Self-Hypnosis for Manifestation, a Wish Come True, ASMR, Magical uh, magical Wind Chimes, Night uh, night Nature Sounds, and I will post that link in the description box below. And my video today is about Twin Flame 101, um, Impasse, uh, Hey Oka's empaths are not victims of our circumstances we are warriors because we conquered them and we are you know it's just like i mean we powerful as heck i don't know right now but like i said i don't know what brewing stir which 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 is brew we stirring up because like i forgot to finish doing i'm um, telling y'all about i was so stuck on the you know um symptoms of everything for you to be looking for through this june ascension um all the energy y'all have been pushing out all the ones that are radiating today is just like you probably you know uh right now it's like with this june ascension coming up between the 6th and the 19th um it kind of feels like you having the flu um flu-like symptoms and it's just the energy y'all are carrying is so freaking powerful like it is like it'll make you feel kind of off sometimes if you're you know you've been purging a lot um you can get a little dizzy as well as you know you might have a, a boost of energy it might make you hyper like right now i'm feeling laid back like i'm on cloud nine i don't know it's like a euphoric feeling but it's just like when i'm able to see y'all and it's just like you know you're doing that thing from like dragon ball z like <laughs> you know and that's what you're doing you're just doing it like this and i'm seeing these visions of y'all you know and you you, you know i see y'all at the fork of the road because you're you know you have poor you have hurt so much and it's like a lot of us are still healing from our traumatic past you know we're cutting cords to our karmatic cycles that you know we're dealing with right now and it's just like it might seem like you probably feel like it's calm before the storm like something's like it's too quiet you know i mean you might be going through things but it's just like the things you have been recently going through uh that was like the most intense stuff and you're just like okay you know this is little compared to what i was just dealing with recently and it's just like with me i you know i just purged out a lot it's just like you know not to be tmi but you know if you've been constipated for a minute you know that's how i felt like you've been constipated for a long time and you finally was able to release and your stomach makes you feel like you're about 20 pounds lighter so you know not to be gross but i mean if i was to compare that 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 that's what it felt like you know and it's just like I felt really good, it, you know, because it's been heavy on my heart for a while. And it was, it was like I seen my test coming because it's just like dealing with them. I felt like that was the test. But they had to add, you know, they had to add some, you know, extra stuff to the gauntlet to see if I was going to pass that. Because it was like I had to deal with five negative, like, women. Yeah, five, <laughs> five negative impacts that's been in my life that I had to just release and let go i didn't argue i didn't fuss i'm like it is what it is what it is what it is because it's just like because you have been focusing on trying to heal yourself you know when you start at telling the universe hey i'm freeing whatever it, it, it 
whatever energy that came to me that was not wanted, didn't have my permission. It, you know, it's like that energy is like lived beyond is welcome. It is wore out as welcome with you. So you're just like, you're getting pissed. Like, okay, I'm tired of you being around here. You know, it's just like, you're this roommate that ain't taking part of your rent. You know, you just eating up all my food and stuff like that. And I'm just wondering when you're going to do your part. Okay, you got to go. And that's basically how that, you know, your energy is right now. It's just like mine is, I've been getting very intense visions. And it's like, uh, I can say, tell somebody like, hey, I can see you in the fork of the road. Are you okay? You know, and they're like, wow, you know, how does she know these things? Like I said, my gift, my medium gift is intensified. It's like if uh, one of my soul family is, is like going through something at that time. And if I'm talking to them, I can feel it. I can see it. I see the things that they're going through. Certain things I can't announce to them because that's something they have to go through to get to so it's just like i can't give you the answer to the test that's something you have to be able to study for so there's a lot of things but you know i i do check in but there's a lot of people i do one-on-ones with like i tell anybody you know if you're new um and you need to talk to me like on one-on-one -on -one, if you don't feel like you know you want to put your business out there like anybody knows you know i, I do one-on-ones with anybody I, your thing anything we talk about is straight confidential i don't I don't mention anything here like if it you know I'm like hey you know this situation makes me want to pull up another content and I'm not gonna talk about what happened in that certain section but I might say hey you know it's you know helping this other person deal with a certain situation and it had me thinking about this yes I'll say that but I'll never talk about what we talked about but because there's a lot of times that a universe will send me towards a certain person and I'll ask them you know hey is there something you need me to you know tell my family about the things that they need to be out to look for you know next thing you know i'll be talking to somebody I'm like, oh thank you you know and things been coming like that so it's just like my energy changes you know if you've been with me for a while you know when i tell you my energy change you'll see end up seeing light flashing right in front of the you know <laughs> the screen or you might see stuff coming up over here or whatever you know it just depends on whatever it is um but it's just like we're warriors it's just you're not going to allow these things to beat you yeah it's tiring yes it gets aggravating that you're constantly dealing with these things and it's just like when you finally are able to let go that you're gonna have that tear of joy because you know i mean it's still going around in my head like it's on instant replay it was like you did that i'm like yeah you did it again you know i'll give my own stuff a high five and pat myself on the back you know and all these different things it was truly a blessing to me because it's like with me being able to handle that without no hatred in my heart that is a big deal for me i say it might not be a big deal for you but if you understood the things i was going through you would know because it's just like anybody who know me from my past know i'm quick to lay hands and i'm quick to cuss out and i just don't have time for all that no more i mean that that's a headache and i ain't got money to be wasting because trying to bail myself out of jail you know so it's just like I'm on my level where I'm thriving to better myself. I'm I'm trying to get on that growth, that on that growth olive olive branch where I'm excelling. You know, I don't want to be around anybody who's not trying to better themselves. I don't want to be around nobody who's constantly talking negative. You know, and be talking about people so dag on much. You know, if we're talking about oh, okay these things like a current event happens, that's a different story. But if it's not in a positive vibe I, I just can't i can't mesh with it i just can't you know and it's just like I, you know i haven't been fussy i'm not trying to be itchy with the be at the top you know but it's just like when people start rubbing me the wrong way or overstepping my boundaries it's getting to that point where i'm not going to argue with you i'm only going to tell you one time you know i tell everybody you know hey you know look me up on messenger like i might not add you to my facebook but it's no problem with me you know adding you to my you know my messenger and i always tell people you know please send me a short message and let me know because there's a lot of times people send me facebook messages and i don't know who the heck they are you know because you use a, a tag name hashtag name here or whatever it's called and then it's just something different on facebook and it could be like one of my love bugs and i wouldn't know if you don't tell me hey you know, I'm from the empath family or I'm a Hayoka or whatever. And then I'm like, oh, okay, I'll go ahead and add you. Other than that, I'm just erase it. But I tell people, hey, 10, 10 o'clock, 10.30 Eastern Standard Time, you know, because uh, if it's like, 
you know, two, three o'clock in the morning, six, seven o'clock in the morning, I'm be very upset. Uh, uh, very upset. So please don't do that. You know, I don't mind talking to you, but please be, you know, respect my times. That's all I do. I, that's all I ask you to do. We can talk about anything you want, as long as it's not disrespectful or any kind of sexual advances towards me, because <laughs> I've had that happen as well. But you know, we're all going through some things, and you know, we need somebody to talk to. And I tell people, you know, they're like, Ross, I don't mean to unload on you. I said, didn't I tell you to come talk to me? And I, you know, if I can help you out, I can help you out. But if I haven't been through it, I'll honestly tell you, hey, I haven't been through this. But you are that warrior. You are getting your strength. You are seeing your powers. I can feel your powers into you. You know, you might be second guessing it. You're hearing that little voice in your head that's telling you certain things. You're like, did I hear this? Because it was like when I was talking to one of my soul brothers earlier today. You know, I see the Rolodex of all the empaths that I've been you know dealing with throughout the you know throughout the months throughout the days throughout the weeks and i'm just seeing all the things that they have attached it's like Lo uh, lost puppy says you know about those files and everybody has files that they've been keeping that they're trying to you know organize let go of put that stuff in the incinerator hey put it in the shredder you know we're all releasing so many different things so you i mean right now you might feel a little bit heavy because everything is starting to come up if you start to have more of your memory starting to come up like stuff you weren't even thinking about it is trying to release so do not engage in it just let it go like it's either a burp or a gas let it go so it's just like all these things are going on for a reason it's just like we're all going through ascension like i said i was having hot cold flashes um I'm starting to break out again. You know, I don't know if it was just because of the stressful week I had. You know, that was a lot. It was a lot of emotions. You know, dealing with my baby. That's my youngest one. She's 18. My oldest one's 24. You know, have seeing my youngest, my last, you know, graduate. You know, and I like I told you, I'm a high school dropout. So being able to see each and every one of my children going to college, going, you know, that that's a big milestone for me because I'm proud I wanted to break that cycle you know just because I didn't do the school thing I don't want them to follow behind my footsteps I want you to do better than mommy did <laughs> you know so all these things you have that inner warrior in you you know you are not going to be a victim of your circumstances that is not your trademark and that is not your damn bumper sticker and that is not your shirt if you're gonna say that I'm you gonna put on the thing da -da -da -da, I conquered that mess and that's what you're going to be having that hashtag of because it's just like you have to give yourself that, you know, if I have to be that that referee and they're like, hey, you went through this, this, and this, and that, but look how much you got over on this, 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 and that. You know, a lot of things, yes, is truly hurting the hell out of you because you're purging so much, not just from this life, but from the last four or five lives that you did. You signed up for this, like, Ross and I signed up for it. Yes, the hell you did. <laughs> millions of years ago and you were a billy badass when you did it because it was just like i see y'all and it's just like mad max beyond thunderdome you know 300 i mean y'all were like that and then we got shot down in this daggone human form going through all these crazy things so yes you are that warrior and you're going to be a conqueror over your circumstances i promise you that because if i can do it you can do it you know it's just like it was so much abuse i can be proud enough to say you know i went through abuse all all from the time i was if i technically start you know that's when my dad i start connecting with my dad well i was already connecting with him then but i wasn't putting two and two together you know i used to ask my mom all the time is this my dad or is this my brother which one is it you know and she's like what you mean it's like is prince my dad is prince my brother you know because me and him were like twins we were twins in my my former life the life that i was supposed to have this time i passed away but they reincarnated me into the daughter so i'm really trying to understand this you know you're trying to explain this to a five-year-old and my mom is not like opened up like that <laughs> so that was really 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 crazy so going through all these different things you know being able to you know handle the things I handle it took a lot for me to be able to open that that door for everybody to use to listen to the things I went through look listen to the things that has came forth for me also being able to realize I'm getting over and I mean getting over and releasing so many different things to be able to help others do the same thing we truly have that inner strength within ourselves we have that light that is like it's been dormant for too long and it's like okay you gonna hand me this stick so i can go ahead and light this up and it's just like that's how your body is feeling right now because it's like you have 
took so many L's, took so many beatings. And it's like, you know what? I'm tired. You are like very ad agitated. Like if you don't go, it, it ain't, it's going to be me and you and you are not going to win. And that's how you're feeling right now. So it's just like with these visions I'm having and you're doing this Dragon Ball Z looking thing. Y'all purging all this stuff out and y'all are starting to create more dimensions than possible. I already told y'all a few months ago, y'all folding dimensions. Now you got a multiverse and an omniverse coming through. So I don't know what the heck we're doing, but it, it's just like it's creating a lot of stuff. And that's a whole lot, a whole lot of. So I'm going to go ahead. <laughs> like and subscribe let me know if you're going through this and if you are i send so many blessings to you because you will conquer this i promise you you will you have to be able to have that faith in yourself as well but i'm gonna go ahead and give a post notification shout out to pfp and official yg uh uh katie straight much love to you as well mimi b i love y'all and i'll see you on my next video much love peace be wild